Okay, so this is how we do the API Freshwater Master Test Kit for nitrate. This test has a couple extra steps that are important, so let's get into it and show you how to do it correctly. Okay, so using the syringe that does not come with the test kit that I showed you in the last video makes it a lot easier. We're gonna fill the test tube to fi the five milliliter line. Using the nitrate test solution bottle number one, we're gonna add 10 drops. I recommend shaking it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we are going to cap the test tube, invert it several times to mix the solution. Now before we add test solution number two, we're gonna take the bottle and we're gonna vigorously shake it for 30 seconds. I've already done so, so I'll come back to you on this. Now we add 10 drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now very important, we're gonna instantly Tap the test tube solution and shake vigorously for one minute. Okay, I've shaken it for exactly one minute and now we're gonna set our timer for five minutes. Hey Siri, set timer five minutes. And then we'll come back and take a look at the color. Okay, so here are the nitrate test results from the kit. The goal is to have it less than 40 parts per million, the red on the right side here, less than 40 parts per million. I put an arrow at 20 parts per million, that's the upper orange bar, and I'd like to keep it less than that myself. Um, if you look at this solution, it's clearly the second bar down in the orange. It's uh, five parts per million, it's been in here a little longer, so it's gotten a little darker, but it is five parts per million. And the goal, the ultimate goal is to have zero nitrates. But if you have it at five to zero or even less than 10, you're doing well. Um, you do want to take correct it, corrective action if you get up to 20, 40 or above, for sure. Great, that's our nitrate test from the API water test kit and put your uh, comments in the box below.